what's up people how's it going this is bharat and welcome back to yet another video in this python project in 10 minute video i'm going to be talking to you guys about a very interesting library which you can use to send a text message to any phone number around the world that's what you're going to be finding out let's get this video started straight away thanks to our sponsor an academy and coach for uh, being a very gracious sponsor for us with this video i'll talk more about that later but let's get this thing started so first of all what do you need to send a text message you need a from address and a to address right and what we are going to be learning about is to use this simple uh, tool called as Twilio, wherein you can use the Twilio to send a text message from a given number to a two number, which is, can be any number around the world. So first, first things first, we will need to create a simple uh, login screen or you need to create a simple account with Twilio. So what I would rec uh, recommend you guys to do is to go ahead and start creating a simple uh, you know, trial account. A trial account will give you up to 15 messages for free. Do not worry about that because you can always upgrade your account and it doesn't cost you more than $10 per month. So if you're somebody like me who's doing this for just hobby purpose, you can use the trial account and you can use 15 messages and you can renew it every single month. So if you're not, then go ahead and create your own or upgrade to a uh, monthly subscription. So first things first, you will need to create your username and password. And once you're done, you're taken to a similar screen like this where you have a dashboard, a billing screen, a usage, a notification, all, all of that. And you'll be given a $15 in credits and every message you send is going to cost you one dollar so that's the whole idea behind it so what you're going to do is to as soon as you create your dashboard or as soon as you take into your dashboard you'll be given two important ids the first id is the account sid i'm not obviously going to be showing you to you guys and you can see that account sid is something like this and you'll also have an auth token so auth token is also something very very important do not share it with anybody and uh, th these two tokens are very very important for us to continue along the third important thing is that you will need a from number right now twilio automatically gives you a simple from number and this number will either be from us or canada so if you see here i'm getting a plus one two zero which is the usd or uh, the ist code for uh, us and once i get this number you can start sending messages from this number and twilio will automatically understand that you're going to generate uh, multiple messages from this so you can create your own uh, you can create your own number if you upgrade but if you don't want to just use the given number itself and you can continue along so these are the three important pre requests that you need and the second important prerequisite that you need is to obviously go ahead and create your project itself and i'll open my pycharm which is what i'm going to be using the first important thing you will need is uh, a python installing system and second is your pip installing system with the help of pip which is the package manager i'm going to be installing my next important library called as twilio itself now twilio is a website or it's a company that automatically gives you this client uh, libraries and it gives you client libraries in a lot of different languages not just in python so with python all you need is to install install Twilio and as soon as you put it it says that it's already in installed in my system and you can carry your own uh, as soon as you complete your installation in your system. Alright, hoping that you've completed installing Twilio in your system, you're going to be writing just five lines of code to send a message from the given number, which is this number right here. And I'm obviously going to be uh, showing, not showing this number. Again, so this number you can use, which is actually an auto-generated number, two as the from number and two whatever number that you want to send it to. What do you need? First things you need is to import from Twilio.rest you need to import the client so what's all you need to say is that i am the client so i want to initialize my client right here so we'll need two important ids for this first one is the sid and sid is going to be the number that uh, we saw right here so it says account sid right account sid followed by my auth token so i need both of both of these for to authenticate my client saying that i am the client and i'm going to be using this system to send messages so third important thing we need to create our client itself so let's create a simple uh, variable called as client and i'll create my sid comma auth token so these are the two things that you need and i'm obviously going to be uh, replacing this empty sid with my sid and auth token with my auth token all right as soon as you completed creating your client time to send our message right you will say client dot messages dot create you're gonna say create and first thing you need is a body right we'll just say hello this is my new number or hello from kodomog now this is where the new things comes into picture you'll have a from underscore 
बिकॉज फ्रम इज अ रिजर्व की वर्ड इन पाइथन दे हैव यूज एन अंडर स्कोर आफ्टर दैट सो इट नॉट बिकम अ रिजर्व की वर्ड नाउ द फ्रम नंबर हियर इज द नंबर दैट वी टुक फ्रम आवर ट्वेल यो अकाउंट सो एम गोन बी ऑब्वियसली यूजिंग दिस नंबर एंड रिप्लेसिंग दैट राइट हियर and the two number is what is the number that you need to send it to you could be anywhere around the world but do not forget to actually use the uh, ist code for your numbers if you don't use the ist code you will never receive the message at all and your account will automatically say that it is sent but you will never receive it and you will start losing your uh, free credits so make sure to actually give your ist code for india it's plus 91 and i'm obviously going to hide this number right from here because it's actually my own personal number and uh, so let's assume that your number is going to come right here all right so we completed writing that code right and we we'll now print to see if this is actually possible so i'll just do is i'll just do a print or i'll say that response is equal to and i'll print my response if you want to very specifically you can either print status or you can print your sid so if you get a sid that means that the messages were sent so that's it that's five lines of code let's try running it but right after this small break because i'm going to be talking about a sponsor for us with this video which is an academy along with coach chef i'm a big fan of free classes and i would highly recommend anybody who's teaching for free to guys first go and make use of that and that's what these people at an academy and coach chef are doing if you're somebody who's trying to learn something for the first time or if you're somebody who's planning to be improve your coding skill or even prepare for a tech interview uh, this is where you got to start and if you if you see here these are not just test series but are also classes that are taught by experts in the field for example sanket tanu Arjun all of these people are just few of the experts who are going to be teaching you classes for free and as well as for live classes which you can make use of if you are for the first time using an academy highly recommend you guys to use the promo code coming down uh, to unlock all of these free classes if you see here these classes are not just for the beginners these are starting from beginners to intermediate to as advanced as well as preparing you for a coding interview even preparing you for miscellaneous activities as well very importantly if you are going to be starting something new i would highly recommend you guys to check out the upcoming pinnacle series which is about a one year structured course where you'll be able to get access to all of these different live classes from the experts themselves if you're going to be making use of that you will need a subscription but do not worry about that you can use the promo code again to get 10% off it does not matter if you're not going to be using all of these paid courses if you want to make sure you're going to get a good start for 2021 make use of this free courses first of all and proceed from wherever you want to proceed and you'll be definitely seeing a very important change in what you're learning If you like this and you want to know more about it you can definitely drop a comment down below and I'll be very happy to assist you in that. Thanks again to our gracious sponsor for doing this kind of amazing work. Let's continue on. So we have created our code, we've just created our template code and what we need at this point of time is to uh, fill up our SID and fill up our auth token and we are done with the work. All right, so I've completed writing my SID, I've completed writing my auth token. Let's run this program to see if we are getting the message to our mobile number. so i'm going to wait for this so the the if the response sid is generated that means that the code is running fine and you got to wait just for the message to be received okay awesome so i've received my message let's see that if you guys can see it properly uh, let me open this right here and i'm not sure if you guys can see it let's see if this auto focus is working fine auto focus is working fine auto focus work fine All right, I'm not sure if auto focus is working fine, but it says that send from Twilio trial account. Hello from Code Monk. So it's it is adding that send from Twilio uh, uh, Twilio trial account obviously because it obviously says in that our uh, in the website itself that if you want to remove the watermark, basically you need to switch it uh, to something like you know upgrade your account. So if you're not going to do that, that's fine. But uh, that's how simple. You just wrote five simple line of code, and you've automated the process, or you have you are sending text messages. uh by yourself so this can be very very useful if you're going to be using something like a notification service or if you want to alert somebody for some reason if you're building a bigger project this can be a very simple minor portion of the project which can help you in lot of different ways so that's what this video was about i hope this video is informative for you guys uh, let me meet you guys in something useful in the next python project in 10 minute video until then bharat peace out have a super awesome day